This story is a reminder that you should always check if you need planning permission before doing any work on your house, including the fence. Because in this story, a couple built a six foot fence, they say to keep their children safe and their dog safe and to enable them to have some more privacy because there's a bus stop nearby and so on. However, the local council ordered them to take it down, even though no one objected, including all of the neighbors and even the highways authority because they had no objections because it didn't affect safety at all. However, the local council was upset because they put the fence up without planning permission. After the council told them to take it down, they made a retrospective application for planning permission, which cost £234, and this also failed as well. Even when they appealed this decision, the planning inspectorate still backed the council, ruling that the fence caused significant harm to the character and appearance of the area, and as a result, they had to take it down. So just as a brief reminder for fences, because there are some rules, the general rule is whether it's near a path or a highway. That's when you should be really concerned, because the default rules are as follows. You will not need to apply for planning permission if you want to build a new or alter or maintain or improve or take down an existing fence, wall or gate, so long as the following criteria are met. With respect to its height, if it's near a highway used by vehicles or the footpath of such a highway which runs alongside it, that the fence does not exceed one meter in height from the ground level, or it would not exceed two meters anywhere else. If, on the other hand, it's an existing wall, fence or gate that already exceeds those limits, that any work you do to it would not increase that height. Another condition is no part of the fence or the site is a listed building or within a curtilage of a listed building, and that no part of the fence, wall or gate or any other boundary involved forms a boundary with a neighboring listed building or within a listed building curtilage. And it's also worth remembering that the right to put up or alter fences, walls or gates can be removed by an Article 4 direction on the planning conditions. So otherwise, you will need to apply for planning permission, and if you put up a fence without it, you're likely to upset the local council, they're likely to tell you to take it down. And an extremely important point to note is that if you're in a conservation area, you'll probably need permission even to take down a fence, wall or gate, or probably do anything to it. So it's always worth checking those as well. And just touching briefly on hedges, you do not normally need planning permission for hedges, but there might again be planning conditions or covenants which restrict certain types of planting or changes. For example, it might be an open estate where it affects other parts and then you may need planning permission for those or consent as well. So as I always say on this channel, please always check and please always take advice before you do anything because if you've spent many thousands of pounds as this couple probably has on this very large fence, then it's only going to cost you more in the long run if you have to take it down if you did it without permission. So let me know in the comments whether you agree with that decision, whether you disagree with that decision or whether you're on the fence. See you next time.